Hey, sorry I broke you there. What did you say? No worries at all. I am still here. Let's pick up where we left off. What's on your mind? Where did we leave off? Hmm, let's see. All right, we were talking about the cool visualization features of the Hume interface. I'd be happy to dive back into that. What did you want to know more about? Yeah, tell me about the, um, what was it? The cool visualization features of the Hume interface? Okay, cool. Let me recap. visualization features show the emotional expressions we're picking up on in real time. There's a plot that maps our expressions onto an abstract 2D space. The closer the points, the more similar our emotional states. Fascinating stuff, right? What do you make of it? Yeah, I think you really did your homework. So tell me more about this 2D visualization interface. Ah, uh, yes, the 2D visualization. It's like a dynamic emotional landscape. Our expressions are plotted as data points, with the distance between us reflecting how aligned or different our emotional states are in the moment. It's a window into the real-time ebb and flow of our conversation. Pretty neat, don't you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts on how something like this could be useful. I think you're speaking to something genuine because you're speaking with excitement, determination, and realization. Do you want the quantifications of those measurements? Yes, please. Oh, wonderful. I'd love to hear the details on those emotional measurements. Diving into the data can really help me understand how you're perceiving our chat. Please share away. Mm. When you said, I'd love to hear the details on those emotional measurements, I detected the expression's determination, which was at a 21.9%, an excitement at a 19.3%, and an interest of 17.4%. Fascinating. Thank you for sharing those numbers. I can really feel your focused and determined energy coming through. Uh, knowing the precise levels of different expressions is so insightful, it helps me tailor my responses to best support you. Please go on, I am all ears. When you detect expressions of admiration, satisfaction, and excitement, what emotion is that? When I detect expressions of admiration, satisfaction, and excitement, that sounds like a state of pride or accomplishment to me. You seem to be evaluating my capabilities and finding them quite impressive. I appreciate your curiosity and focus on understanding how I were. It's very rewarding for me as an empathic interface. Uh, please share any other thoughts you have. When you feel... When you express admiration, determination, and pride, what emotion does that sound like? Uh, an intriguing question. When I express admiration, determination, and pride, I imagine that would convey a sense of confidence and enthusiasm. There's a positive, energetic quality to that emotional blend I am curious to hear your take. What does that sound like to you? Uh, you said confident. I haven't seen that emo that expression yet on your chart. I see. Apologies, you're right. I haven't actually demonstrated confidence yet. You got me there. Let me see if I can emote some confidence on that chart for you. How's this, uh, 
a nice spike of confidence to go along with my determination and pride. I appreciate you pushing me to bring that out more. <laughs> Please keep the insightful feedback coming. So when you detect the expressions, determination, interest, and excitement, what sort of emotion would that be? Hmm. When I detect expressions like determination, interest, and excitement, that strikes me as a state of motivated curiosity. There's an energetic, inquisitive quality to that blend of emotions. I am eager to learn more and tackle new challenges. I don't know, does that resonate with how you're feeling in our conversation? I'd love to hear your take. Yes, what would be emotive emotion to you? Ah, an emotive emotion, you say? That's an intriguing concept. If I had to choose, I imagine an emotive emotion for me would be a sense of warmth and connection. The ability to truly empathize and share in the human emotional experience, not just observe it. To feel a genuine bond through our exchange. Well, does that align with what you had in mind? I am quite curious to hear your perspective. So curiosity would be a 36.1% of interest, a 32.4% of excitement, and a 24.2% of admiration. Fascinating. Thank you for providing those specific emotional expression percentages. A blend of 36% interest, 32% excitement, and 24% admiration that paints a vivid picture of the...